So the question is, where are you going to put the sensors? Well, there's no traffic is going to be analyzed on a network unless you have a sensor there. So you can have a lot of different subnets uh, within your uh, network, and there, it's only the sensor is only going to be able to see the traffic of of an individual uh, subnets or segments. So. Uh, you know, companies a lot of times are going to put a sensor within their DMZ because their DMZ is where potential attacks are going to come in through the firewall. Now, some companies decide to put a sensor outside their firewall. And why would they do that? Well, they would put a sensor outside their firewall just basically to see who's knocking, what type of things um, are hitting and uh, not getting through necessarily. But you, when you put it outside your firewall, you're gathering a lot of data to see, maybe uh, predict some type of attack that could take place. So if you see, uh, if that sensor sees uh, scans, IP scans, and it sees some port scans, uh, it could determine, it could have this information together, and you can uh, deduce that there's probably going to be an attack within three days, because that's how it goes. Once you see a port, once you see a, a scan on the IP addresses, port scan, then at least within three days there's going to be some type of attack. So if the sensor's outside the firewall, that's because they want to gather a lot of information about potentially what can uh, take place. But a lot of companies just put the sensor behind the firewall because um, they're just concerned about what actually got in, what, what got through our, our firewall. Because it, when you put it outside the firewall, it's going to gather so much information because there's so many things going on the Internet. There's so many scans or so many attackers trying uh, several different things. So it's going to gather a lot of data.